Hey gang, James here. You're in the movie room on the Movie Reviewers 100 collaboration channel. Um, very special collaboration channel to me and the other six members um, where we do theme weeks. And this week happens to be Mark Ruffalo week. And we've had some really good videos so far. And uh, I had a hard time with this one. I had, I had, I had a hard time choosing because... Um, where I'm in the middle of the week, I knew some of the films that I had were probably going to be done. I mean, the Avengers, somebody would probably grab Zodiac. And then I thought to myself, hey, wasn't Mark Ruffalo in Where the Wild Things Are? I had only seen this movie in the theater at first, and I bought it on Blu-ray, and I'd never watched it again. And I just remember um, taking my son and daughter to this and just really enjoying the experience of this movie and uh, for some reason I remember I thought I remembered Mark Ruffalo being the voice of one of the beasts and he is absolutely not he's in this movie for about 10 minutes and that's pushing it but <clears throat> still counts so anyway I went ahead and watched it and I'm glad I did it's directed by Spike Jones. Um, it's based on uh, a book by Maurice Sendic, a childhood book that everybody's heard of. I've read it to my kids. You've read it to your kids. Um, it's very loosely based on the book because the book's only 20 pages max, maybe not even that far, 16 to 20 pages. But they catch the main gist of the book in this movie. Uh, Spike Jones hasn't done a lot of stuff. <laughs> He's done a lot of music videos, but you, I really appreciate his camera style in this by making you nervous, making you um, see from the perspective of a you know, 12, 10, 12 year old kid when he's running around the house, he, the camera makes you all nervous and you, you get to the edge of your seat thinking, God, I wish this would slow down, but that's what they're trying to capture is the... Uh, the embodiment of childhood and that's what the story is about that's that's what the entire book is is this is what childhood is it's the imagination the magic and everything that happens when you're a kid and the movie does an amazing job um, and first and foremost the reason why and I bring it up all the time is the creatures were created in the Jim Henson workshop so it can't you can't go wrong with with that <coughs> sorry about that but uh all in all this movie was very very good well done i mean uh to me they knocked it out of the park i love the story i've always loved the book basically we have a, a a kid max who is going through um childhood his sister's getting older she doesn't want to play with him anymore his mo mother's a divorcee um and has a boyfriend and this is all movie related. This has nothing to do with the book. The book is just him escaping to the wild, uh, the wild side, you know, where the wild things are. And uh, he's not getting attention. He's just a typical child, and he snaps and he escapes to where he knows to escape to his imagination. And this so help, happens to just take him to another world across the sea where these monsters live and you can see from the front that's Carol or Carl sorry Carl um, played by the dad from the Sopranos that I'm not even going to attempt to say I'm not even going to attempt to screw up his last name but uh, <laughs> that's you know there's Chris Cooper um, Forrest Whitaker's a voice Catherine O'Hara there's a lot of good voices in here and you'll, you'll be able to pick them out really fast Basically, he comes up on this island, and he's already dressed in a monster suit because he's running around like a monster at his house. And the monsters are just having a party. And um, he joins them and convinces them that he's a king, so they don't eat him. And he, they welcome him into their party, and from there he just has a childhood adventure with them. A very... Um, very good movie you know I, I can't say enough about this 
a lot of people are not going to like this movie and didn't like this movie because of how slow it is, and it is very slow. But I just have a, uh, I don't know, I have a different outlook on movies like this because of the work that the Hiddenson Company does. And I've read a couple articles on this this week, and uh, a couple people even refer to it as the uh, the best movie that Henson could have never made. You know, because um, he, he's been dead since 1989. But um, his company lives on, and they do an excellent job in everything they do including movies like this where the puppetry is so huge. I mean, these costumes are, you know, eight foot tall, and uh, the puppeteers are working very hard to get this down. Um, and you guys have seen the stuff I do with just my Muppet. I imagine trying to work an eight foot creature. Um, so anyway, I have, a, I have a special spot for movies like this. Um, and the story of being, the childhood stories, you know, they go through a lot of movies, you know, and you see it in the, a lot of different movies, uh, Explorers, E.T., Goonies, they're all the embodiment of the same thing. They're all showing us uh, childhood and, you know, different aspects of the childhood. This one particularly leans on um, imagination, and uh, Max has one hell of an imagination. So definitely check out Wild Things if you haven't done it. Watch it with your kids. Uh, watch it by yourself. I watched it by myself this time. I uh, really uh, sat back and just just watched it. I didn't uh, try to analyze it or you know, I didn't even take, normally I'm when I'm watching a movie, especially if I'm going to be reviewing it, I take notes and I found myself not even doing that. I just it's a movie that I felt like I couldn't look away from the screen because they, the camera, like I said at the beginning, at times the camera is so nervous um, that you are very nervous, but then at sometimes it's when Max is talking to Carl and uh, some of the rest of the creatures, it's just so calm, it's not even funny. And uh, I think Spike Jones knocked this one out of the park, did a great job, and uh, go check out Where the Wild Things Are. Make sure you check out everybody else's videos. Um, there are already some up, um, some great ones to come, I'm sure. Next week, uh, I'm really I'm not going to give away what it is, but I'm really looking forward to next week. I have no idea what I'll do, but I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, make sure you check out everybody else's stuff. And don't just check out everybody else's stuff on the Movie Reviewers 100. You know, go through. We're all a huge community, and it's everybody watches a lot of stuff. And I know YouTube's feeds messed up, and it's hard to find videos, but. Take time to click on somebody's channel from this collaboration and check out some of their stuff because there's a lot of good uh, reviewers out here. Everybody on here, um, uh, I watch. They're in my regular feeds. Everybody is. You know, I really enjoy every single person on here's reviews, and that's what prompted me to uh, be part of this uh, collaboration. And uh, I'm thankful every every Tuesday when I get to put up a video that I'm part of this and um, make sure you guys check out their stuff so until next time guys check out my channel I got I do like 11 videos a week I I work I work most I work more than most actors <laughs> so not to mention the uh, stupid Muppet stuff that I've been doing lately uh, so make sure you check that out and come back next week see me on Tuesday and I'll have a surprise for you later